sign, Aries. My fire sign, Aries. This is your reading for the next 24 hours. We're going to see what's going on in the next 24 hours. Welcome. If you are new, if you subscribe, welcome back. For my newbies, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the ring and the ding bell so you won't miss out on any of the videos that I upload. And if you like this video or if it resonates with you, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if you want a $50 uh, personal reading, it's a special going on right now. It's only $50. Come get yours before it's gone. I'm not going to stress this enough, y'all. It's only $50 and I'm about, to, um, I'm about to stop doing those real soon. So once I stop doing them, my prices is going to go back up. And if you want to donate to the channel, my cash app is in the description box down below underneath the video. Now, let's cut the deck and figure out what's going on. What's going to be going on for the next 24 hours? At the bottom of the deck, you have the high priestess. He could be dealing with a cancer, okay? But I do feel like you're listening to your intuition, okay? You're you're learning to trust your intuition. And I feel like there's some secrets or some hidden information, okay? There may be something that you're not saying that you're keeping secretive or silent about. However, I do feel like there's something not yet known, but you sense it, okay? You sense that something is going on or... This is you keeping a secret. And I feel like there is some major changes happening in your life. I feel like this is good karma coming in for you. I feel like the, the wheel is going to turn in your favor. But I do feel like this is a karmic that you are dealing with. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Libra. A Leo, I'm sorry. Um... You may be dealing with a Libra, but for some of you dealing with um, either one of these fixed signs. In Aries, I do feel like things are going in your favor. I do feel like the wheel is turning in your favor. This is good karma. This is change happening. Something drastically changing. Okay, you could be um, moving, um, but I do feel like your luck and fortune is going to be changing for you. All right, and I feel like you're feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked, or... Um, you just feel stuck in a situation you don't want to be in or a relationship that you don't want to be in and you don't know exactly how to get out of this situation, okay? You're feeling like um, you can't move, but you can, all right? Because it's all mental. It's all mental, okay? Hmm. Um, you could be all up in your head about a new love, a new beginning in love. Or this is someone that you're in love with. Or someone is in love here. This is a new beginning in love. Alright. For, for some of you, this is a baby. Okay. A blessing. But I feel like this may be new love. Or a new beginning in love with someone that you're in love with. Or someone who's in love with you. And I feel like you're going to be receiving a message from this person. You're going to be receiving some news. Okay, and I do feel like it's going to have you feeling very inspired. I do feel like also um, this person is gaining up the um, courage to send you a text message. But I feel like this is good news coming your way. And I see you um, putting in the work, putting in the effort towards the relationship. Well, this is what your person is doing. Um, putting in that work, putting in that effort towards a relationship. I feel like you're also getting some good news about some money here, about your work. Mm -hmm. And I see you throwing yourself into your work. Alright. You may need to be patient though. Um, your spirit guides is alarming you to have patience. Okay, I feel like some of you are very impatient. But it's going to take some patience Okay, for this to happen. I do feel like it's going to um, bring you that balance back into your life. And you know some compromise. Okay this could be... Um, you're healing from something. Alright. But I feel like someone wants to 
reconcile. Someone, someone wants to come back around and heal things and balance things out with you, Aries. All right. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Aries? Clarify the Ace of Cups, Spirit Guides. Thank you. Yep. This is a new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups, and I feel like a lot of you are taking action. All right, Aries, this is you. You're rushing straight toward, um, you could be dealing with the Leo, um, fellow Aries or Sagittarius, but you're rushing straight toward this person. You want to rush in, okay, with some hot and heavy. Um, this is like very lustful type of energy, okay, but there's a lot of passion here that you want to have with this person. And I do some, see someone wanting to use the male phallic to be intimate, all right? I'm not going to say this person is a player just yet. Because I don't see any deception on the table. However, this is very lustful energy. But I see um, this is a new beginning in love or a new love for you. And I do see y'all taking action. You're taking action. And this is, you know, you're going to be communicating with this person over the airwaves very passionately. Passionate, heavy passion, uh, passionate communication. Yeah, and I feel like um, you really enjoy this person's company. This person makes you happy. It could be dealing with a Leo, okay? And I feel like um, you two may have a lot of fun together. Um, there is, like, playfulness between you two. But I also see that, you know, whatever message this is, your person is very happy about this. And I do feel like they're being illuminated. Your partner is being illuminated about something, all right? Something is coming to light with them. Why is the Page of Wands here? Clarify the page of wands. Somebody has a high sex drive for some of you Aries. You have a very high sex drive. Like, you cannot stop thinking about this person sexually. All right. Yeah, look. You see them as the star, okay? Someone is in the spotlight. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Someone is like celebrity status, known by a lot of people. But I see a lot of healing going on with this person, okay? This person is healing from things, okay? And I feel like you're having hope and faith. That this connection will work. That you know you can guys you, ugh. <laughs> you guys can heal things, mend things, and work things out together. All right. And a lot of you got a high sex drive, and you don't know where to put your emotions. All right. But the stars are aligning for you, and I feel like this is someone you wish for, something you, somebody you've been hopeful for, or is this message? It's either some news or message coming in, and you're having a lot of hope. You're very hopeful. You still have hope, okay, and faith in this relationship, in this in this connection that you have with this person. But I do feel like for a lot of you, there's like passionate messages going back and forth between you two online, all right? And I feel like this is something you hope for. This is somebody you've been wishing for, okay? And you're not outwardly expressing how you feel about this person, and I feel like um, someone here is being very analytical, so maybe overthinking a lot. But I see you've mastered the balance in your emotions. Nothing can really trigger you. You're very balanced in your emotions here. But I do feel like this person does not wear their heart on their sleeve. But when you love, you don't lie about your, you know, the way you love. It's real and it's true and it's emotional. Okay, there's a lot of emotions. I feel like you're dealing with the father of your, the parent of your child. So this could be a baby daddy or a father figure. Someone like a stepdaddy, okay? A lot of you are um, speaking to a mentor, a coach, a relationship coach, a life coach, okay, um, at this time. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Aries, Samuel, Rise, and Venus. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. One more time. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, universal energies. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. All right. I'm going to take what fell out first. Ooh. Hmm. All right. So, if... All right. So, in this relation... In your connection... Someone's wanting to put in the work and put in the effort, okay? This may be someone that has earth in their chart. However, I do see this person throwing themselves into their work. Whether this is you or someone that you're dealing with. This person is focused on themselves here. And I do see um, 
there's some like releasing going on. All right. So I feel like you're letting things go. Um, this could also be you overspending or giving more to this person than they are giving to you. So if you guys are working really hard, I do see you. <laughs> over hey, that's your confirmation. I do see you overspending. Okay, please do not spend all your money. You don't have to spend all your money, okay? But I do see someone releasing some things, okay? Yeah, and um, someone needs to release some things or this person is releasing you, like letting you go. And I feel like it's because they're all up in their head about things. They could be replaying things over and over and over again in their mind. You know, feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. Or Like I said before, they feel stuck, trapped, and blocked or in a situation they don't want to be in. But I feel like... Um, someone feels stuck. Someone is all up in their head. Because there has been a lot of competition um, around this person. Right? This person may have put you in a lot of competition. There may have been a lot of fussing and fighting and arguments going on between you and this person. However, I do feel like um, somebody's pissed off. All right? They're all up in their head and they're pissed off. This person is mad. I feel like either there's a lot of drama around this person that you're dealing with. However, you may be wanting to fight for this person. But it, I see you all up in your head, very conflicted about things. And it could be recon, about reconciling with someone. Okay, coming back together, reuniting with someone. All right. Um, celebrating. Okay, you may be celebrating something with someone. Or just going out with family and friends, having a good time. You know, to try to get your mind off of things, try to unwind, all right? And you're celebrating some type of abundance here that you have been receiving. I do feel like there has been some drama around y'all. Now, keep in mind, I'm just throwing this in there. Somebody put in the work and put in the effort, all right? But they've been overspending and being all up in their head, right? Replaying things over and over and again in their mind. And they need to release some things. All right, this person may be being released from jail, someone. But I do see um, there's a lot of conflict between, it's a bunch of people involved. For some of y'all, y'all could have had, now this is side note, y'all may have had a threesome with somebody, all right? And it caused a lot of drama. It caused a lot of drama. And now this person is juggling you and the other party because there was a threesome that happened right here. And this ain't no um, 18 plus reading, but I'm just saying. I was told to just throw that in there, okay? There's a lot of juggling between you and another person. The person you possibly, you and your partner may have had a threesome with. And if there's not a threesome that y'all had together, I do feel like they're very conflicted about reconciling with you. And then someone is like going back and forth trying to weigh up the pros and the cons about the situation. But I do see you keeping stuff stuff. To yourself, um, there may be something that you don't see coming that's not yet known, all right? It may be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a new home, a new car, a bonus, or promotion, or just a new beginning. You may not be telling people about this new beginning, or you don't, this is being hidden from you. There's a new beginning happening for you that you don't see coming, and it's going to bring you a lot of money, all right? It's going to have your money looking very, very well. Very good. And I feel like you're keeping something hidden. You want a new beginning with someone and you want to build with this person. You want to have children with this person. You want to marry this person. Okay, if you're not married already. All right, if you are married, I feel like you're renewing vows. But if um, you're not married, I do feel like... <sighs> this is like the structure or family... Okay, you guys want a family, something solid, something longevity, long-lasting relationship. All right. 
Yeah. Uh huh. You see this person as um, your wife or a spouse, someone that will be very faithful and loyal and committed. Okay. And I do feel like there's a lot of money around you. And you guys may be checking in your bank account to see how much you have left because we did see you overspending. So someone is now looking in their bank account to see how much is left over. There's like a secret stash. You know, but I do feel like you are working parents. And you're putting money in the checking account, savings account, CDL account. Did I see CDL account? I'm so sorry. CD account. Is somebody going for their CDL license? I just heard I just heard that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, you may be dealing with the parent of your child, a baby father, or you a father figure. Okay. Or maybe someone is looking to see how much money they have in their bank account so they can go to a mentor, a coach, a therapist, um, a relationship coach. Someone that has that's wise and has expertise on um the information that you may be looking for. And there's a lot of traveling going on in your energy too. In the month of July. Alright. And this is what's going to be happening for the next 24 hours. That includes concludes your reading. Thank you guys so very much for coming to the channel. I really do appreciate that. Subscribers. Thank you guys. I love you guys so much. If you want to book that personal reading. My email is in the description box down below. Underneath the video. Make sure you get that reading. Okay. And if you want to donate to my... um channel okay hit that click that my my um cash app is in the description down below okay and until next time bye aries